chapter three, lesson three. I'm sure your kids are starting to complain that it's hard already. So please be patient with your kids. We need to keep working with them. We need to keep practicing and just allow them to think of it like a sport. So it needs practice, practice, practice. So today is a start of another harder lesson. So it's about subtraction with regrouping in the hundreds and tens. We remind ourselves and our kids the groups. So it's always important to start our lesson with these groups. Okay, so Okay, so if we need to subtract mentally, we need to break this down as 15 plus 100. Why do we want to break it down as 15 plus 100? So that we can subtract these two. That's 100 minus 70, which makes it 30. Based on the grouping that we have, all we have to do is add zeros to those basic groups. So which means this is 15 plus 30, which makes it 45. So this is a strategy for mental subtraction when it becomes big. So if we look at this, what we want to do is we want to break this down as 100 and 338. So when we do subtract those, that will leave us with 338 plus 20 because 100 minus 80 is 20 which means this is now 358. There's no problems in the people book. So I took the examples to be able to show you. However, when it's computational math, such as this, what we need to do is we need to subtract. 7 minus 7 is 0. Now, we need to take away 6 from 4. Clearly, cannot so if we cannot, we need to borrow. That would make it 5 and regroup, which makes it 14. Now, when we take the 14 and we subtract the 6, we need to use the same strategy. We need 4 more to get to 10. And we need another 4 to get to 14, which means this is 8. So if it's more comfortable for your kids to write it here before writing it here. Allow them until they get used to it. Okay, so 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, here's another example. If I take 6 minus 4, that would be 2. But I cannot subtract 5 from 3. Therefore, I need to borrow and regroup which makes that 13. So I'm gonna take that again. I'm gonna put it here, 13 minus five. So again, the importance is a five needs a five. And then it needs another three to make it to 13. So that makes this eight. So again, if it's easier for your kids to write it here before writing it here, allow them. Okay, but if it's okay for them to write it directly here, then let them do that as well. Okay, whatever they're comfortable with, we don't want to pressure. They're only in grade two. They have many, many years of this to come. Okay, so two minus one is one. Again, important to remind our kids that the groupings is key to success. We need to remind them that when they're regrouping, that to count to 10 and then see how much extra they need to get to the new regrouped number. That concludes chapter three, lesson three. See you in the next session.